All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back again, another video. Had to make a video uh, specifically dedicated to this topic because y'all know I'm all about this Last of Us multiplayer factions life, okay? So Summer Game Fest was going on, um, just ended. And is, Summer Game Fest is multiple days, right? Don't they like do it over the course of over the week? It's not just one day, right? So I, I don't I don't be knowing I don't pay attention to Summer Game Fest enough to know. Y'all let me know in the comments section. Because I plan to do a recap of today's, but you know, um if they plan to show a bunch of stuff through multiple days, then um I'll do a recap every day. So I'm gonna do a recap of you know what they showed today, but obviously gotta talk about this multiplayer. Cause we finally got some we, we've gotten a bunch of, you know, confirmations, acknowledgements that it exists, that it's coming, that they're working on it. But this is the first time that somebody has actually spoken, you know, live on stage about it in any capacity. And uh, Neil Druckmann got on stage with Jeff Keighley and talked about the multiplayer. Not a lot of detail still. And that kind of scares me because I want this game soon. We know Factions is obviously part of uh, the list of live action games that PlayStation is making and plans to support. And here's what we know, right? So he showed concept art, and y'all know how much I freaking despise concept art. Concept art is not a good sign. As I said, when you show concept art, something is likely not that close to being finished, right? He said they're not quite ready to show it. And I understand Naughty Dog or a perfectionist. They're going to show the game uh, when it's ready. They probably could have shown something, but they probably wanted to show it in its best form, in its best light that they can. Um, that's, you know, that's how they are. They probably could have shown something that kind of looked like something that was kind of early, maybe beta, uh, late alpha, something like that. But they decided not to. Um, it's, it's, we're going to get more info next year, which also scared me because more info next year doesn't necessarily mean that it's launching next year, but I'm, it, it has to launch next year. It has to, I don't care what they got to do. They, this has to launch next year. Okay. I need some info. I need, I need gameplay early next year. And then I need it to launch next year. Okay. I cannot wait another year. I cannot wait till 2024. For, for factions, for this multiplayer. I, I cannot do it. I will not do it. I will not tolerate it. It is It will be unacceptable, okay? I need this game to come out next year. I need that. I need that, Neil. So whatever you gotta do, make it happen. But I like the way he's talking. I like the way he's talking about this multiplayer, right? This ain't no side project, right? They're working on multiple projects, but this isn't no like side project. Oh, we're going to y'all been begging for multiplayer. So we're going to throw y'all some scraps. No, this is their biggest multiplayer ever. And that's how he described it, which doesn't necessarily say much because they've had some good multiplayers, you know, Uncharted 2, uh, you know, obviously factions and these multiplayers weren't like huge in scope or size or any or anything they really implemented but they were decent um so it doesn't necessarily say much but it it affirms that they are going above and beyond what they've done in previous multiplayers as they should which is also why this game is going to be a standalone game um he says yeah it's the it it's as big as any single player game Naughty Dog has ever made, which means they're giving it that full on treatment. They're not treating it like some side project, like some tacked on multiplayer. This is getting the full Naughty Dog respect. Okay, I, I like that. I like what I'm hearing. Um, it incorporates story into the multiplayer experience. That's cool. I guess he may, they may be talking about, you know how in, in the original factions, they did that little, that weird little thing with survivors and you had to keep your survivors alive. It was kind of dumb and stupid. Didn't mean much. Um, I guess it, it, it function as a little mini game or whatever, something to give you to do to keep your factions alive and play well, uh, your people alive and play well it takes place in a new city. We're going to get more information next year. It's a huge game. Um, so like I said, storyline, new characters takes place in different parts of the, of the United States. And the concept art, hate it but the way he's describing it and the concept art lets me know this is going to be like 
we're gonna be we're gonna be very impressed by this, I think, because what it sounds like to me is this game is gonna be, it, it, it's gonna be literally, quite literally, bigger. Like it's gonna be a more vertical game. Um, it's gonna be a wider game. Like it's like the battlefield and the multiplayer is not gonna be this like little close, uh, intimate um, combat game, a uh, uh, combat like we had in the first factions because most of those maps are pretty damn small right like you could probably run from one end of this map one end of the biggest map to the other in what i don't i don't know uh what's the biggest map in factions is it the, is it was it the lake is it the lake the the lake snow map that might be the biggest one and you could probably run across the map pretty pretty damn quick right you could you could see people you could see you know another player from a, a, across the map um at any given time right so the so the maps weren't huge now i still want those intimate encounters right i don't want this to be like some type of battlefield game and i don't think even though i love battlefield and i don't think it's going to be that but i think it's going to be um just map design and level design it's going to be bigger than than what we expect and you know factions is originally like uh four four verse four right am i tripping yeah four verse four i don't think it's going to be four verse four this is going to be this is going to be bigger than that um i'm not going to guess a size but it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be four verse four but as long as they create um the environment and the level that the map is big but it's still about these like intimate you know encounters and everything like that then i'm fine with it right i like i said i just don't want it to like play necessarily like battlefield and like have these uh you know um this crazy number of players on the on the map and um you know don't don't want that because that's what kind of set aside factions was these these close co these close combat in, uh, in encounters and everything like that. So you want you want it to be balanced and you know you want it to be you still want it to have that essence of what made um, factions stand out and what separated it from other multiplayer games because you know in my opinion it was a a unique multiplayer. So that's you know that's that's the details we have about it. Uh, I was I was hoping for more. Um, I wasn't even really expecting them to mention it at at uh, at this uh, summer game fest, but maybe. See, I don't know because he said more information, more information coming next year. But like, bro, there's gonna be another Sony event sometime later this year. Like, I'm, I would guess September that PlayStation plans to do their you know their own actual show. And I'm like, are you not gonna be able to like give us an update then or show us something then? <sighs> they playing with me, man. They 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 playing with my emotions with this one. But I I think I think when this finally does come, it'll it'll pay off. I think the worth the wait will be worth it. Um, they got uh, I forgot. I, I follow these two dudes on Twitter, the lead developers um, of multi of of this multiplayer. Uh, it's Vinit. I follow him on Twitter. Uh, he worked on a, f a few of the past multiplayer games, um, Naughty Dog multiplayer games, and also uh, Bad Data. That's his name on Twitter. I forgot his real name. But these are like multiplayer guys, like re really spearheading it. It's not like, uh, you know, and, and we saw them doing a whole bunch of hiring for qualified peop uh, developers who know how to work on multiplayer games. And they're obviously working on um, another project and everything like that so these are they got the right people for this they they hired the right people for this so i'm excited about it like once again i hated this this concept art like bro you could have gave me a sprinkle of gameplay um but yeah that's i think that's all all i can really say say about it um i need naughty dog to i need i need y'all to send me that invite invite me to the studio let me play test it okay i am a diehard factions player i've been waiting for this since 2000 when did when did part two come out since 2018 i'm losing track of time don't even know when last of us part two came out uh 2019 i think was it 2019 whenever it came out it feels like t it feels like four years since i since i've been waiting for this so invite me to the studio I'll sign the NDA, 
y'all need some diehard factions players who really care about this game to get in there, you know, tell y'all what tell y'all what y- uh, you know what we think because we gonna get it right, okay? I don't want this game to be free to play. I've spoken on this in a video before uh, that you know I'm just against you know the free to play model. I'm not saying it should be seventy dollars. I don't think. Listen, I'm okay with anything other than free to play. If you if you charge a dollar for people to play this game, I'm fine with that. Just don't make it free to play. I need some type of barrier, some some hedge, some layer of protection to keep the unwanted out of this game. I, I refuse to let the the casuals and and the 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 untouchables and the you know, the, the, the undesirables into this game because there is no barrier, okay? that's that You can't just let in anybody in your house. The people who pay for this are the ones who really care, so they'll take care of the game and they'll care about the, the, the well-being of the game and the community. So don't just let anybody in. Charge $20. That, that's enough to keep them out because... And, and listen, I'm okay with it coming to even coming to PC I know that's a likely thing but y'all need to um y'all, y'all need to get that you know y'all need to have some good uh anti cheat because you know these PC dudes be cheaters y'all do be I'm 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 sorry uh so y'all need some good old anti cheat and and I and honestly I don't that's probably not even enough because there's no anti cheat that I haven't seen these cheaters bypass so uh and and then you know Crossplay, got to have the option to turn that off in case we don't want to play with them PC cheaters. I just, I just want the game, man. What, whatever, whatever way, whatever it takes, whatever it takes, man. I need, I need this factions. I need that. So, yeah, Naughty Dog, y'all got my Twitter. Hit my DMs. You know, fly me out. Put me up in the, in the Hilton. You know the the. The Double Tree, where wherever, um, wh- whatever hotel, man. Four star, no nothing lower than four star though. I, I can't do nothing lower than four star. I got standards, you know. Put me up, and um, I'm, I'm gonna come through, and I'm, I'm gonna guide y'all to the finish line, man. I'm gonna guide y'all, man. Don't don't even worry about it. free of charge. Only thing I j- I just need to be on the inside. I gotta be on the inside, y'all. Um, so yeah, let me know what y'all think about. The few details we got on factions and uh follow me on twitter hit the like button notification bell all that good stuff i'll catch y'all on the next video peace